our businesses, we have to have, we know, extreme clarity because if you're not clear, your people are not going to be clear, right? So clear clarity on your topic, clarity on who you serve. And when I say clarity, everybody says, you know, clarity, what does that really look like? But topic in terms of, you got really four main things, right? Four main topics. You got topics like, you know, like, let's just say like relationships is like a, is like a major topic, right? You got money. Right. Um, you know, you got like um, like health. Right. Um, you know, ratio of money, health and, you know, let's just say maybe like maybe like my man, that's like that's under money. Right. So that's like let's just say like mindset or personal development. Right. Now. All of these are great, but this is the issue that we face is that anytime you go out and you just say I'm a relationship coach or money covers like business that covers like real estate like anything that's deals with you generating income that's what we categorize it under money right but now whatever you doing whatever you select or whatever we have we got to understand that today people value have being a specialist in something right it's what i've learned it took me a lot of years to really understand and figure that out right like a lot of y'all you know already know my story kid from bronx new york grew up didn't know anybody making six figures like new people around me, gangs, drug violence, um, you know, people that I know in my home addicted to drugs, um, you know, uh, everything you could think of, right? And um, so I'm blessed enough to even be standing here and being able to, you know, to be in, being able to even do this. But I can tell you, I can tell you one thing is that throughout my years of really learning and getting into business and figuring this out is the more that time goes by, the more that I'm seeing specialists are winning. Like if you, unless you like, you know, Oprah or Tony Robbins, you can step back and say, all right, I'm going to teach everybody about life. Everybody's going to learn about life, right? But for us, us getting started, we want specialists in specific areas. So what that means is we need to go deep. We need to go at least one or two layers deep in any one of these, right? So what that means is relationships, right? But relationships of for who, right? So, you know, um, I love relationships for like the queer community. That's a niche. You know what I'm saying? Like um, money, we talking business, but what type of business? Are you helping restaurant owners? Are you helping speakers? Are you helping what? Like specifically what? Are you doing real estate? If it's health, when, when you think of health, somebody like just name, what are some things you think about when you think of health? Like just, just name some things. What does health mean to you? Recovery. Recovery. What does health mean? What else? What does health mean? Fitness. Fitness. Yep. What else? Whatever. What else falls under health? Mental health. Mental health. Love it. What else falls under health? Meal prep. meal prep, nutrition, right? That falls under health. What else falls under health? Mental, right? You could you could be you could be helping bodybuilders. We got people who, who used to be bodybuilders that was part of the PCS program, right? Like we, you can help people who are going to be marathon runners. It's so many different areas. So when you go and say health, that doesn't mean anything to anybody, right? And so you say, listen, you are you're, you're training to go to the Olympics, and for this specific skill, I can help you. You, you're a busy entrepreneur and you're trying to lose weight so I can give you some quick hit at home workouts, right? You're trying to get your nutrition up. You're trying to lose weight. You're trying to gain muscle. That is what's winning today, right? So even before we get into this conversation, I want to make sure that we're clear on who we help and how we serve because that is what's going to be highly attractive to people. And you want to repel people and not repel people like they don't like you, repel people from a standpoint of, oh, okay, they, that's not exactly what I'm looking for. Everybody wants to mess with the person that's hot, right? If right. you hot, everybody's answering your call. When you hot, right. everybody want to interview you. When you hot, everybody wants you. And it's very similar in our space to where when people start seeing you hot, which means that when they go to your page, you're posting consistently, they see you training, they see you speaking in front of audiences, they see you coaching people, you got things going on. So when they look you up, they say, wow, no, every y'all got some, uh, like, like she's hot. Like she got some things going on. We want her, you know what I mean? Like she's the person that she needs to come and speak to our people. Or she's the person that I want to be able to work with because she can help me go to the next level. You know what I mean? So that's why we all have to have things going on in our business. And um, because that's what, that's what people want. You know, that's what people want. That's what they want to see. You know, if you, you want you want to do more speaking engagements, people should see you speaking. You want to coach, people should see you online coaching somebody, helping somebody. 
you know, try to speak to somebody on a Zoom or try to interview them or try to get in the same room with somebody. You know what I mean? Like, so keep doing those things because people will be interested in that. Like the content of what we do is like that, that fuels the machine because that gets people interested. That's why when you hear people say, you know, just be, be consistent on social media, be consistent. The reason is very important is because that is that is the machine that's going that that fuels the rest of your business. If you if we don't create content that allows people to be interested and be attracted to it, then you can't get them to the next step. You know what I mean? And a, and a lot of times is you know we we have things going on, we have daytime jobs, and we got kids, and we got this, and we got that, and we got a lot of things going on. But it's really up to us to us to really like be serious about this life to make the sacrifices we need to make to make sure that we're posting consistently, to make sure that we're out here and we're providing value consistently. Mm -hmm. And there's different types of value, right? You have content where you have like, basically like micro content where you put out, you know, you just put out little clips, you put out, um, you know, you might put out memes, you might, you know, you might reshare content. So you have that type of content, right? But then we also have what I call a, a, a like a elevated value experience, a, like elevated content. Elevated content is more long form, especially for us. A lot of folks who follow me are like coaches, you know, trainers, speakers, right? Yeah. Me, you, you have some type of expertise, education, or experience um, where that you're that you're packaging into a program, and we're going to be monetizing at some point. So what that really means is people want to have that experience before they work with you. Mm -hmm. So they want to have, so in addition to putting out the content, one of the things um, I recommend is doing things that's what that allows you to build more or more of a relationship with people, meaning go do do a, go live for 30 minutes or go live for an hour every week. That should be on your calendar. Go and this is for all of us too, because all of us here at some point should be educating and training and teaching people on our products and services, right? Or on our programs. Um, do a Zoom call at least once a month, minimum. At least do one Zoom call once a month, right? Where you get people on a call like this, and you're just training and you're teaching and helping people. Get people on. Um, why don't you do a challenge like once a quarter? Maybe you do a three day challenge or a five day challenge where you know you list out. You know, maybe the top five things somebody need to do to make progress in your area or what you're training or teaching them to do. And then each and every day, have them do something towards that. Right. So, for example, if I was to do a challenge. I would do I would do probably a four day challenge and I would have one day where they create their program. I'll have another day where they'll, you know start putting out specific pieces of content to build up their to build up their portfolio of content on, on across their social medias. I have another day where they'll do lead generation and then I have another day where they'll do um where they'll make sales. And literally I have that'll be my four days and then I'll but I'll have it won't just be teaching it would also be all right this is what you're actually going to be doing. Like I want you to actually do this actually post actually create your program right actually reach out to people or send DM. Actually, you know, book calls or book appointments. So, you know, I would do something like that. And what's that? I'm going to tell you what that's going to do. What that's going to do to your audience is that's going to have them understand you more, learn about you more. Because if you with me over four days or if you with me for an hour, I'm probably going to tell you some stories about myself. You're probably going to learn certain things you didn't know about me. You have a chance to really understand and what it feels like to work with me on a longer form basis. And now you're building the no like and trust factor with me. You built that with me. And then I say, hey, listen, if you want more help, let's have a conversation. You're going to be more willing and open to have that conversation with me because I just gave and gave and gave and gave to you so much over the last hour, over the last 30 minutes, over the last four or five days. Right. And then once that happens, now you're in a space where you're having conversations with people. And then you're presenting what you have, and then they'll enroll in your program.